So I want to do one more example from this section. I want to look at problem number 70 and we're still on page 20 of the textbook. So once again we're simplifying as usual and we have 27 x to the minus 5 halves over y to the minus 3 and we're raising that to the minus one-third power. Now, we've got negative exponents like before, so we could either start out by distributing the third power to the numerator and denominator, or we can start to try to eliminate the negatives. Let's try the alternate method this time. We'll do it first. So if we start dealing with the negative exponents, let's work our way inside first. So here, x to the negative 5 halves, this is in the numerator, so it's going to be placed in the denominator and have, we change the sign of the exponent. But why third? Why to the minus 3 isn't in the numerator, it's in the denominator? Well, if it's in the denominator, that just means you flip it up towards the numerator. So negative exponents just move things in the denominator to the numerator, and things that are in the denominator to the numerator. Now what about this? The only negative exponent we have left is this exponent here. And following the same reasoning, when you have a negative exponent, the things in the denominator move to the numerator, and the things in the numerator move to the denominator. The whole fraction just flips around. So it's going to be x to the 5 halves on top, because what was the denominator is going to be our numerator, and the exponent, because the negative in the exponent, takes what we had in the denominator, puts it in the numerator, what was the numerator is going to be our new denominator. Now, now that we have no more negative exponents, we can distribute. So, if we distribute to the numerator, this becomes x to the 5 halves to the 1 third. And then we write the denominator as being to the 1 third power. Oops, excuse me, this should be not a third, this should be three, I'm sorry. So up top, we've got an exponent to an exponent. All we have to do is multiply the exponents, and multiplying fractions is simple. It's just five times one, which is five, that's the top. Three times, two times three gives us six. So on top, we have x to the 5 sixths. Now in bottom, we've got the exponent of a product. So we distribute. We have this as 27 to the 1 third times y cubed to the 1 third. So, there's nothing left to do in the numerator. The numerator is as simple as we can get it, at least for now. And it will turn out to be uh, for the rest of the problem. y to the third to the one-third, three times a third is just 
1, I don't have an exponent here on 27. So I can just rewrite this as 27 to the first power, because anything to the first power is still just itself. I haven't changed anything. So it's going to be 27 to the 1 times 3 halves. That's going to be 27 to the 1 third. And so again, x to the 5 6 on top. That's as simple as that's going to get. y to the first, we're lazy, and anything to the first is just itself. So rather than writing y to the first every time, we can just write y. And 27 to the 1 third, that's 27. The numerator is the exponent, and the denominator of the fraction is the number outside the radical. So this is simply the cube root of 27, because 27 to the first is just 27. And the cube root of 27 is simply 3. And that's our answer. Now, how would this have looked if we did it the other way around? If we just didn't worry about negatives initially and started distributing right away? Well, we can look at that. So let's start back at 27x to the minus 5 halves over y to the minus 3 to the minus 1 third. If we don't care about negatives at the moment, if that's not our first priority, what we can do is just distribute. So have the numerator get the exponent of minus 1 third and the denominator as well. It's kind of like the exponent is distributing to the numerator and the denominator. And that's what exponents do. They play nice with multiplication and division. They distribute over them. Well, like before, only this time it's in the numerator, we've got a product raised to a power. So that product just becomes 27 to this power, minus one-third, times x to the minus five-halves to the minus one-third. And down below with y, we can simply multiply y to the minus three to the minus one-third. That's minus three times minus a third. Minus times a minus is a plus, and three times a third is just going to be one. So, let's see, 27, again, this is an idea that there's the 1 here, so 27, this is just 27, it's as if I can just drop the parentheses here, 27 to the minus 1 third, again, we're multiplying exponents, so negative 5 halves times negative 1 third is just a positive result, so ignoring the signs for now, 5 halves times a third, that's just 5 times 1 divided by 2 times 3, 6. Multiply the numerators over the product of the denominators. Now, when we start worrying about negative exponents, there's only one negative exponent instead of three negative exponents. So, this just tells us that the 27 moves into the the denominator. And if you noticed, we also did in this step, y to the first is just y. Anything to the first is itself. So this becomes the only thing on top now, after dealing with the negative on the exponent of 27. The only thing on top is x to the 5 sixth. This moves down, 27 moves down, and it still keeps its exponent, but the exponent changes signs from a negative to a positive. And we're back to where we were previously. 
you're just going to take the cube root of 27 to get 3. And so you get the exact same answer. Either way, it's just fine. It's just a matter of what's your preference.